Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rhonda the Empathic Pisces. Coming on to do reading on a missing persons case. It's a current situation out of Columbus, Ohio. Um, it's a five-year-old Darnell Taylor, who is a foster child, who is I guess allegedly abducted by his foster mother, Pammy May, who was the suspect here. So um, it's not a whole lot of information. There was a 911 call made at three, around 3 a.m. today, which is February 14th, Valentine's Day, by the foster parents foster mother's husband stating that I guess she woke up stating that the child was in danger or something to that degree and she took off I guess with the child police arrived to the home uh, Pammy was not there the child was not there so um, they actually located her vehicle at an apartment complex in Cleveland Ohio which I would say is about two and a half, three hours from Columbus, okay? They did not find the five-year-old Darnell or the foster mom. So it's still an active Amber Alert. It's like 6.30 p.m. So I just pulled some cards, wanted to look into the energy um, of the foster mom. See if I could pull this up a little bit more. Okay. So I pulled some tarot cards asking about the energy surrounding the foster mother. Okay. This is the first card that came out. This is this is mental energy. This is being feeling restricted, feeling like you're stuck in a situation that you can't get out of. Um a lot of this is this is mental interview, okay? So um next to this hierophant, I feel like there was some type of change in her thought processes and how she views things. Some type of change in regards to um traditional or something that she was uh, either used to or um accustomed to. And I feel like this is huge, okay? Something something major has happened um, or is going on with this female. Now, I also pick up something with the foster father. I don't know. It's just seem like this whole situation seems kind of odd to me. And with this standing your ground, this is like you're you're standing up for yourself. So whatever was going on with her, she wasn't feeling it. Um, and she felt that she needed to stand up, get away from, from something, okay? <sighs> something she felt strongly about. Now, in regards to this child here, we have things in the dark. This could be illusions with this moon card. This is fearful. This is also represents like intuition, dreams, but I'm really getting drawn to this misconception and this deception in here. So I feel like there's something in regards to whatever or her thought processes, um, maybe just something that, that made something go off in her mind. Um, and I don't feel like this was something that just happened out of out of nowhere. I feel like it's been some ongoing issues within this female and the, the foster father and their relationship, okay? I'm going to pull some cards from my Star Seeds Welcome deck. Tap a little bit more into this energy. Get a very sinister feeling looking at photo, okay? What's energy spirit? Why? is alleged suspect, Pammy May, 
and Darnell Taylor missing? Why are they missing? What has happened? Oh, good. Okay, just want to slow this down here. Definitely some mental uh, anguish going on. Worry, um, uneasiness here. This is like mourning a loss. Oh, goodness gracious. I, I, I'm feeling like something happened. And this job here, something about her role. Something's gonna come out. Something happened. I hope this child is okay. Maybe she. I hope this child is 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 pretty okay. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. Let me see what else. Oh, okay. We have. This came up first. Second. Mm-hmm. We have third eye. Anxiety over a losing something. I'm, I'm picking up mental health with this lady. Or it could be with the foster father. Someone. It could be one of the two. It's definitely mental health going on. Why is this question here? Oh. Needing to release, oh goodness. Peace upside down. I don't read these cards in reversal, but I some emphasis on this peace. This lady was, was not at peace, okay? Something was definitely going on with her. We have haunted and we have letting go. This is releasing, okay? Um... This third eye, this is awareness. This is some activation here. I think there was some, something going on with her that happened. And I, I get a sense of confusion. But with this haunted card, this is secrets. This is skeletons in the closet. This also can represent an ending, okay? Only other thing I heard is that this child, Darnell, has, was in this foster home since May of 2023, here. Okay. So he's been in that home for quite some time. Okay. I want to see if anything else wants to come out. Mm -hmm. Now, with this illness card, this can be a physical illness, like with um, uh, cancer, uh, physical ailment, or this could be mental illness. And with this coming out with this anxiety, depression, I do feel like this lady suffered some type of mental break. And look at this, careful with decision stop. Something has happened. Either she's done something, Foster father could be involved in this as well. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, but this is definitely saying, hey, this is a caution here. When this comes up, this is trying to give you a warning and stop and think before reacting. Okay. Oh. So I'm gonna pull these cards up. I do feel like the foster father knows what happened or knows what was going on with his wife. I don't feel like this just happened out of the blue and he was in the dark. I feel like there's been some struggles in their relationship. It has nothing to do with this child. This child just happened to be 
in the crossfire, okay? Um, which is it's really sad. Okay, I want to ask, what's the energy spirit in regards to the foster father? I don't have this foster father's name that has not been released. Um, no photo. All I know is that from what the police is saying, the foster father is um, cooperating. I do feel like there was some type of struggle in their relationship, okay? Leading up to this situation, what's the energy surrounding the relationship between Pammy, Pammy May and her husband? Bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles. Hmm. This, this seems pretty balanced. This seems to be like they were working together, okay? On one accord. We have nine of cups. A love offering. We have king of pentacles. Seems to be very grounded. Queen of swords. Hmm. So it looks like we have the star card. Powerful, positive cards. But I do see a change in this relationship dynamic here. Okay. We have yeah, change of direction here. Now, we have a couple here. We have this King of Pentacles, King of Swords. This could be representing foster father, foster mother here. We also have this Knight of Cups coming through. It's like an offering of love or relationship. Okay. There's love there, but Hmm, this can also be a third party coming in. But we see the struggle here. With this Seven of Swords, it's a standing your ground. Something definitely was going on with this chariot. This is this is for movement, okay? Overcoming obstacles. And we have someone kind of being closed off here with this Four of Pentacles. Not really will, willing to budge. This could be some type of struggles financially that they were but, uh, balancing here. Okay? And we have conflict. So something was going on within the relationship dynamic between this lady and her husband. Mm -hmm. And look at this, we have five of pentacles. This is a major change, feeling left out. Lack of utilization of resources. Then we have seven of cups. This could represent alcoholism. This could represent having a lot of choices and your mind is overloaded and flooded and you don't you have a lot of decisions to make. This can also be some illusions within your thought processes and emotions, okay? Um sometimes this comes out with people who struggle with addiction. Not saying that, but I'm just looking at all possibilities here. Last card I'm pulling, we have the eight of swords. This is feeling trapped. This came out first pull that I did. This is someone struggling mentally with something, overthinking, overanalyzing, anxiety. 
So something was going on within this relationship between foster mother and foster father. I'm going to ask energy of the foster father and then I'm just going to pull a couple location cards. And I'm going to end this reading. I do feel like they will be found. I really feel like Pammy will be found, okay? So energy surrounding the foster father. I hope both are found safe. Is going to be both? Okay. Kind of too many here. And we have communication. Mm -hmm. So we have the travel coming out. I do feel like there was traveling going on. I did pick up some lying earlier with the foster father. I don't know. Look at this. We have this backstabbing. Was she trying to get away for, with this child for her safety? When you have this car comes out, this usually is saying, hey, this is someone you know. This is his energy. Maybe he's feeling backstabbed. Or he could be the person that's doing the backstabbing in this situation. Okay, past life lessons. We have peace. We have communication. Spiritual gifts. Hmm. Happiness. This is repeating cycles. This is this is karma. Things coming back because there's a lesson involved in this. Anything else? Why is this backstabbing card here in regards to the foster father? So, yeah, why is this backstabbing again? Okay. We have self-love, witchcraft. Look at that. Can't make this up. Lack of honesty here. What's really going on? Even though I do feel there's mental health involved, there's this foster father is not telling the truth about something. We have manipulation here and we have dependencies. This could be drugs, alcohol, food, sex, anything done in excess that can cause harm, okay? He's trying to protect something. He could be trying to protect the wife and not really disclosing the issues going on with her. Or he has something to do with the wife and the foster child going missing. What did I say? I, I you know... Okay, I'm going to pull some cards, see your location. I'm going to ask, before I do that, will Pammy, May, and Darnell Taylor be found? I want to see what comes out. I do feel like they will be found. I don't know in what state. I'm talking about physical state, okay? I do feel like they're in the area. They could be in the Cleveland area. Getting from where that the vehicle was recovered. East direction, south. Could that have been a decoy? Who knows? Definitely traveled. I do feel like she did travel the child. Will they be found? The bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles given and receiving. Community. We have the end of a cycle. Stress problems. Feeling overloaded. Feeling burdened. Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. A lot of fire energy. It could be a fire sign. I'm not sure, but this is giving me that this is going to be coming to an end. They're going to be found. Ooh, we have the hangman feeling confined, feeling trapped, um, needing to let go. You're holding on to something and it's causing 
you to be stuck. We have the magician here. Look at this, seven of cups coming out again. Things is not always what they seem. Look at this, coming out again. Feeling left out. They're going to be found, but I don't like this, this five of pentacles coming out again. Are they out in the elements somewhere? I feel like they're hidden. They're hiding. They're hidden. I hopefully within the next couple days. Now, let's see what comes out in my Kipper deck with regards to a location. Where is Darnell Taylor? Where is this child and this foster mother? Look, this false person wants to come out, just dropped out. We got male and female. Wearing a mask. Something definitely was going on. Hold on. Where? Location, please. In the car. It could be by a medical center, a hospital. Ooh courthouse. It's going to take a lot of manpower. Factory with this toil and labor. Look at this occupation. Someone really working. And we have courthouse. Justice is coming. I think filed, charges are going to be filed in regards to this situation. We have bad health here. This is also the hookup card. Hmm, is there some cheating going on? Something really set this person off. They're gonna be found. They could be by a park or wooded area. Southeast, they need to look east area. This despair does not give me a good feeling, but this official person, they're gonna be found. Could be a, a police officer, male, pathway, wooded area. Oh. I'm gonna end this reading. Let's pray that this child is found safe. Pray that this suspect is found and we can get some answers. There's a tip line, any information, area code 614-645-2228. Thank you all for watching. Please share this video, like it, subscribe. Until next time, peace and blessings.